So, welcome to the Solving Trolley. My name is Tessa and I'll be your tour guide. Driving for us today we have Sal. Can everyone say hi, Sal? Hi. Hi. Sal is a professional driver and he's been driving this trolley for about nine years, so you're in very good hands. Up at the front today we have Claire on the left and Stella on the right. <laughs> These are our two beautiful Belgian draft horses. They each weigh around 2,000 pounds and they can each pull three to six times their body weight, which means these two horses could pull 25,000 pounds. Wow. To give you a little scale of that, that's five of these trolleys full of people. So they're very strong. Claire's favorite thing is spilling water on me and Stella's favorite thing is long walks to apples. <laughs> They're my favorite pair of horses that we have here, and that is because they have the littlest, tiniest tails. If you look, their tails are very short and stubby. That's just genetic. Draft horses can either have long, flowy tails or just short little nubs, but they both have nubs. <laughs> so right now we're on Copenhagen and Copenhagen was the first street to be put in Sobbing. It used to be just a dirt road that ran all the way through. It was paved in about 1925 and today it's pretty much the main street of Sobbing, which where most of the shops and businesses are centered around. In a few minutes up ahead we'll be turning right onto 4th. And the thing about 4th is that it intersects with Highway 246, which legally we are not allowed to enter onto. And that is because the traffic goes too fast for our horses to keep up. So we'll pull a very fancy move for you all at the top of fourth. We're going to pull a U-turn. The way we're going to do that is that Claire here is going to cross her legs over and almost like a horse dance to make up for how little space we have on the street with such a big trolley. So I'll point that out once we get up there. So, right here we have the Little Mermaid restaurant. They serve authentic American, Mexican, and Danish style food for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. If you bring your trolley ticket in, you can get a free Able Skiver with any purchase. An Able Skiver is a Danish style pancake, which is just a round pancake, and it's super good if you put jam on it. If you look across the street over there at that red sign, you'll be able to see Olsen's Bakery. Olsen's Bakery is the second oldest bakery here in Solving. It was rated number one on the West Coast by Sunset Magazine. And here in a second, we'll be able to make our U-turn. So if you look out this window, you'll be able to catch a glimpse of Claire's fancy dance. Which window on the window? Claire's fancy dance. Dance. Oh, it's it. Too long. 
vegetable seed. Is that Clark? Cafe, the great little bistro that serves organic food and wine pairings in a fine dining environment. And on this side, we have the Solving Festival Theater, which is an open air style theater, which means that there's no room over the whole place, so you can sit underneath the stars while you watch your show. If you want to learn more about the Danish history of town, there is the Elberhorn Museum, which is located about the next block up on the right hand side. And the Elberhorn Museum has pictures of Solving from before and after the remodel. Back next week, Saturday, five o'clock. <laughs> Mission Street. Admission is free. You can just learn more about his life. Also, if you just really, 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 really want to see a giant statue of his head, there's one in Solving Park. So, back behind there, we have some of the residential areas of Solvang. There's also some more residential areas on the other side of Highway 246. For the most part, the houses in Solvang look pretty Danish as well. They usually look like this with the classic Danish paneling and the pointy little roofs. The driver uses like something you know, like a chicken ball or something to like, accelerate? Uh, no, he just talks in the room. Oh, yeah. actually makes like a noise. Yeah. Okay. Where's the thatched roof? Oh, that's closer to the end of our tour. I'll point it out. Can you say this town was remodeled? What year was it remodeled? Um, around the 1920s and 40s. So right here at this house, we have the only American style house in solving, well there's probably one, but this one was originally ordered in a Sears catalog in 1911, which means that there are a lot of houses that look exactly like that one, but that one recently resold for $500,000. So your more expensive houses are here, uh, in this town, located in this area? No. <laughs> no, they're all very good enough. Yeah. This is a very expensive place to live. Right here we have Solving Knives, which is a great place to buy knives as well as other camping accessories. They also have little ice trays, little freezer ice in different shapes. Right next to it we have the Artistic Pony Studio, which features art from local artists as well as Danish artists. Here in Solvang we have about a 12% Danish population. There are about 5,000 people in the city and about 600 of them are of original Danish descent. Yay, I'm Six hundred still paying. Oh, 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 there she goes. Close, huh? Whoa. <laughs> so, perhaps the cutest feature of solving are these little houses that can be seen all throughout the town. And they look like little bird houses, but they're actually elk houses. 
That is because it is a Danish belief whenever you lose something like your keys or your wallet, it's that an elf took them. You didn't lose them. So we build them a tiny house to keep them happy so they don't steal our stuff. There is another elf house coming up on this side of the solving children's shop sign. some vintage motorcycles as well as some newer models. It's a nice little place to get a tour. They are open by appointment only on weekdays. On weekends they are open but they do close early. If you want to go somewhere more outdoorsy, about six miles down Al South in a very scenic drive, there's not this park which features a hike from 80 foot waterfall. And there's probably actually water in it. still a functioning Catholic church. It has some beautiful rose gardens, and there are also some pillars that are left over from the original where you can see all the old exposed brickwork. They also have a gift shop. So the 
Security is back there. There's a little opening where you can just walk on if you'd like. So if you look on the top of this screen that's coming up right here, you can see some of the big birds. Some of those big birds are meant to be replicas of storks. That is because it is a dangerous cruise to put storks above your business or home to break those laws. If you look in front of us, with underneath the storks with the white lettering, you'll be able to see Berkholm's Bakery. Berkholm's Bakery is the oldest bakery here in Solvang and it's been in the same family for the past three generations. What did you say that bakery was? Right over here? Yeah, it's that one. Bird Holmes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Thank you. Enjoy your day. Watch your step on the way down. Yeah, thanks again for the oh, ride. Well, thank yeah. you for riding with yeah. us. Thank you guys. Enjoy your day. Oh, man. Um, you can buy tickets with me in a second after I'm done. Okay. Fill it. No bites. Is it biting you? No, she's biting. I think I may have. Oh, okay. Hey. Hey, guys. Huh? Okay, you guys be. Hi, how are you guys doing? Okay? No? <laughs> They're not doing okay. I want to go pack up before you finish. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. 
Okay, and then you take off.